been four days I think I've been in this campsite so I guess it's about time I head it off well it's a bit sad to say goodbye to that site because that was such a great campsite but time to move on I've uh, got a bit of a problem the, um, there's a landslide on the way up to Falls Creek from Mount Beauty so I found some tracks to get around it but the only problem is everyone I've come across so far that goes back to the highway of this um, West Kiwa logging road has been closed. Well, I guess I'll just keep on going until I can find a way across the hill. So, just driving along and I noticed something. A nice big rock and a nice big long oil stain. I think someone had a bit of a problem. While I was up on this track, this one fell down. Uh, anyway, all cleared now. And we'll be back on the road again. As usual, my shortcuts didn't work. I should really learn. Oh well, them's the brakes. So back to Mount Beauty. Uh, Mount Bogong, apparently the highest mountain in Victoria. Sitting just above Mount Beauty, which is in a valley. gloves on and a beanie. I can't believe I was walking around camp this morning with just a pair of shorts. But anyway. Uh, still a blue rag trig but basically you can't see nothing. Still freezing cold. And the view is... Um, yeah, it's not. Oh, my hand is absolutely freezing holding this camera outside. Can't see anything anyway. I'm make my way down this little rough section. came from. This is where we're going. So I 
Need to sign off for now. Okay, so the cross, 1845 meters. It's the highest point on the Great Alpine Road. And cold. Butte view. So well worth braving the chill for a few minutes. Not far from the corner over there, there's a thing called the Ruined Castle. It's uh, one of the last remaining columnar jointed basalt formations in the area. Um, overlooks the lake. And uh, it's not far off the road. So here it is. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. all sorts of different shapes in the columns. Mostly seem to be five sided. Anyway, let's see if I can get a bit on the, with the drone. I don't know how the drone's going to handle this wind though. Not a bad view, looking down over the lake. Not bad at all. Now I'll get the drone out and see if I can maybe lose it. 